This is the Airbot L108S Pro Ultra. And it's probably the only robot vacuum that you should get in year 2024 as it has many great features, a very premium look, performs exceptionally well, and best of all, is more than half the price of its competitor, the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra. But is this really a Roborock killer? But first, if this is the first time that you're hearing about such vacuums in the market, in a nutshell, this is a self-cleaning and self-emptying robot vacuum that empties the bin automatically after it's done vacuuming and also automatically washes the mop pad after it's done with mopping. So that differentiates robot vacuums that don't have a functional base like this. So other than the robot vacuums and the base stations that has the compartments of the clean water tank, the dustbin and the dirty water tank, you get some extras in the box like an extra dust bag, an extra side brush, an extra E11 HEPA filter with a cleaning brush, two extra mop cloths or pads, and the user manual. So yes, it's great to know that all of this already comes inside of the box to ensure that you get an even better overall value. So as mentioned, the design of the Airbot L108S Pro Ultra has a premium look. The vacuum has a matte black finish at the side and on top, except for where the LiDAR sensor is located, which has a more glossy textured finish, now, my first impressions were how surprisingly light that the vacuum was which indirectly means that it will save more battery than other heavier robot vacuums. Now, on top of the robot vacuum, there is a 400ml dust compartment with the home and the power button made out of a rubber-like material. Then underneath, there is the main roller brush or the universal wheel with a side brush as well. Then there is two mop rollers which attaches magnetically and the mop cloths attaches via a Velcro style to change the fabric in the future. And of course, there are all these sensors underneath here towards the sides of the robot vacuum as well. Then as for the base station, besides the overall matte black finish, there is a Moira-like pattern which has a lighter shade of grey that wraps around the dock. Then there are handles for each of the clean and the dirty water tank compartments where the middle dustbin compartment opens like a lid instead. Then there's some handy instructions over there too and you'll find a light indicator embedded in this particular compartment as well. Now speaking of this light indicator, if the light is always on in white, it means that it is on standby or it's drying and if the light is in white and has a breathing style indication, it means that it's charging, collecting the dust or cleaning or if it's yellow, it means that it has some sort of an error or it's in pairing mode. Then the capacities of each of these compartments are 2.8 litres for the clean water tank, 2.4 litres of dirty water tank or sewage tank as Airbot calls it, and 2.7 litres for the dust bag. Alright, next let's talk features, as there are some surprising cutting edge tech for this robot vacuum. Firstly, it has an ionized AG plus water tank, which you might think that is all about the sake of sounding fancy, but it's not my friends, because it's all about keeping things clean, as AG plus stands for silver ions, which work hard to fight bacteria while cleaning. Now this silver ion aka AG plus technology distributes through a glass matrix and these ions are active which allows to penetrate bacterial membranes and disrupt the growth of microorganisms. So yes, <laughs> not only it cleans floors but it also gives an extra layer of cleanliness. Next, there's also the hot water activation feature where this clever function heats up water to get those AG plus ions going. Then it sprays the floor, killing any nasty germs and bacteria all around. So it's like typically mopping a floor, but you're using a very clean and a slightly hot water, except that it's done automatically. Then there's also a 45 degree hot air drying feature where this is done after it's mopping the entire house where it dries the cloth entirely in just 3 hours. Now this means there's no musty smells or nasty mold since there's no bacteria creeping in. Now what's interesting is that this robot vacuum is not only about floors, you can also get your air quality clean too. Now this is because the AG plus ion dust bag and the E11 grade HEPA filter combo is like having a personal air purifier because it captures dust and allergens floating around keeping the air clean and fresh. Now this makes this robot very special given the fact that this is supposed to be a robot vacuum but do you know what else is special? You for liking and subscribing to this channel. That would mean a lot and thank you very much in advance. Then it also has an automatic bin emptying capability up to 7 weeks so you don't have to worry about emptying the bin daily. Now since I've done a review of this robot vacuum about a week and a half or so, so I'll get back to you in the comment section below to let you know whether or not it can last that long. Because if this is really true, this robot can run on its own to vacuum up to 7 weeks. And with that, you can go ahead and plan that long overdue holiday without worrying about coming back to a dusty disaster zone. 
Then from the beginning to the cleaning process, throughout the cleaning and even after it's done cleaning, there will be a voice prompt that will guide you throughout the journey or even if there's any other issues. And I have to say that after reviewing many robot vacuums or any similar robot vacuum functions with voice prompt, this is not annoyingly loud, which is a huge plus indeed. Then this robot goes beyond the ordinary with its rotation mopping feature as the 400ml high capacity water tank covers more surface area efficiently, giving superior mopping results up to 300 square meters, which is about 3,299 square feet. Then this robot is smart enough to recognize different rooms, which I'll go into detail in the app walkthrough later on in this video. Then as for the cleaning power, this mop can apply some serious pressure up to 500G pressure that mimics a manual human cleaning for a deep cleaning that leaves floor very clean based on my daily testing. Then it can go over bump up to 2cm high. So if there's different levels between each room, it can go through every room easily. Now one little drawback is the fact that it doesn't have the mop lifting tech that most of the flagship robot vacuum has, but you can toggle the carpet avoid feature in the Airbox app when choosing the mop function. And since this is a given for those of you who prefer a physical control, you can use the power button on the robot vacuum itself, which is great for the elderly who is not very familiar or do not want to use a mobile app. Then the base station also has some great features specifically for the mop where you can adjust the mop wash interval times between 8 meters square to 12 meters square to ensure that your mop stays fresh and clean throughout the cleaning cycles which you can do in the app too. Then as for the robot vacuum's performance, it is officially rated to run about 220 minutes or 3 hours and 4 minutes and I found that throughout my week and a half use, it did run the same when I use it on standard mode. So it's nice to know that this brand or airbot does not exaggerate their number so good job Airbot and you know what this Airbot L108S Pro Ultra also really sucks <laughs> really good it has up to 8000 PA of suction power so yes it can suck pretty well and what's great and interesting is that the suction power is even greater than the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra which is only up to 6000 PA. Now if you're lost with all of these numbers and would like to have a recap, don't worry because you can head to our website at www.adamlobo.tv where there'll be a written version of this video, all the links will be down below too. Then the robot also uses the Pressy Sense LiDAR technology to navigate around the room and with this, the robot can zip around the room very quickly and smartly every single time. And from an obstacle point of view, it does a great job maneuvering between objects, especially with Luna's toys being all around the room. And another little thing to note is that the vacuum runs very quietly, both in the eco and the standard modes as well. But as you go towards the strong and the max functions is where you'll start to hearing the motors becoming louder. Next, let's go through the walkthrough of the app because this is where you get the full entire experience of this robot vacuum. Now starting from the initial pairing process, to know if the vacuum is in pairing mode, the light indicator will be blinking in yellow colour and if it's not, just press and hold both the home and the power buttons and there will be a voice prompt that will mention that it's on pairing mode. Then in the app, you'll see the robot appear as a device, add it accordingly and join a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network and you're done. Now, if you're running the vacuum for the first time, it will prompt you to do a quick mapping in your house and you can use the robot vacuum immediately. Now, depending on how big your house is, for me, the quick mapping took about 9 minutes for a 2,000 square feet condo. Then going further into the app, at the top left, it shows the battery status and the battery life as well. In the middle is where you can see the map of your home. Next, there is the map edit menu to either set a restricted area or do any map custom editing. Then under the cleaning preference, you can adjust the suction power from eco to max. Then the customized mode toggle and the y shape mop toggle is here as well, where it will mop according to a Y pattern. Towards the bottom is where you can select the clean mode for either a planned cleaning, selected zone clean, configured zone cleaning or just pin and go. Towards the top right, there is a small arrow that shows and hides the last cleaning area and the last cleaning time. Then the pencil icon is where you can see the device information, the tap to run automation for integration with other airbot products. Next, there is the offline notification and other settings over there as well. Finally, you can go back to the home screen and click to the square icons towards the bottom right. And then there'll be more settings over there where there's the timer, where timer is where you can create scheduling. Room manage is for you to manage the maps of your home. Dust collection is for the management of collecting the dust. Next, there is the mop self-cleaning frequency settings and the drying toggle over there. Then there is the cleaning records, the voice and volume settings including different languages too. Below that is the do not disturb switch and schedule. 
Next, there is the remote control feature for precise direction control. Then under the consumables management, you can monitor the lifespan of the filter, the brushes and the mop life as well. Finally, there is Seek Your Robot feature just in case you can't find where the robot is and toggles for auto boost, continue cleaning at breakpoint, electrolysis and device info as well. So yeah, this is a very extensive app, especially for this price factor. So in conclusion, after spending a good chunk of time with the Airbot L108S Pro Ultra and watch it glide around my living space like a pro, here is the lowdown. If you're on the hunt for a robot vacuum that doesn't just promise the moon but actually delivers it, then the Airbot L108S Pro Ultra isn't just a smart choice, it's a no-brainer. With this kind of price factor, there's nothing in the market that comes close to what the Airbot L108S Pro Ultra delivers. And other than the whole mopping lifting technology, it beats the Roborock S8 Pro Ultra in terms of the overall value with great features as well. Now, if you're looking for another very affordable and reliable product from Airbot that doesn't break the bank, check out my review of the Airbot G2 and the G7 Wi-Fi cameras over here.